Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. And freaking dogs back there, but they're not mine, though. Mine are not barking. But let me show you something. That's right. This thing is being prepped to be painted. I used uh, cleaned up with goo gun over here because I had the uh, the stair step uh, thick uh, grippy tape kind of thing. And look at all the scars like deep down to the bare metal from when I sold it. The guy that had it loved this thing pretty well. So I'm gonna clean this up, sand it off, scuff it up and all that good stuff. And uh, we're gonna get to painting. Yep, I ordered a 2K clear coat this time. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and use that at the end. So hopefully the result will be a whole lot better. Stay tuned for the colors because I might black and white. I might not black and white the video editing, but we'll see about that. But then that the, the process I might not record it because I'm, this is not a tutorial. This is just showing you I'm just gonna scuff off the paint. I'm gonna do the same thing as the other. Show you a few steps after I'm done with each step. And uh, we'll just go from there. If you wanna get an axiom, check the affiliate links in the description below. If you wanna support the channel, also all those all that good stuff, subscribe, turn the notification bell on. Love, a little love, a little love doesn't hurt, doesn't hurt you and doesn't cost you anything. Other than that, let me keep prepping this thing and I'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys, Diesel, Freya, she's about to pop. I separated them because I didn't want them to get uh, to mate, but apparently he made it anyway before I separated them. I don't know, but uh, that dog is gonna have some puppies. If you're interested, let me know. I will be putting them for sale. Hopefully this video will be out within a couple of weeks. And I'll see you in a little bit. Well, just a quick update. It's looking like a zebra now. Been using Orbital Sander Polisher with the 80, 100 block. All that good stuff. Super smooth right now, which is what I'm looking for. And I uh, just wanted to give you a quick update because it's getting a little bit dark and uh, I'm sweating my ass off right now. So I'm gonna keep sanding a little bit more. Just gotta sand mostly right here the seat tube. And other than that, I can go ahead and clean this up, wash it up and put some primer in. But it's not turning back now. All right, guys, so it's the next day. Yesterday, I was able to sand it and prime it. And uh, today, I did a, a little bit of sanding on the uh, primer and did a few more coats. And now, I'm actually starting on the uh, base coat, which in this case, I'm going to be doing black. Hopefully, it turns out well. Let me show you what I got so far. So, as the base, uh, the primer is gray. It's not perfect because of the way I sanded it, but hopefully, the paint scheme that I'm gonna be doing won't show the imperfections might not look in camera but yeah you can definitely see them but not that that bad and I kind of started the uh, base coat over here already because I'm gonna do a stencil which is gonna end up being black over here but other than that this is gonna be turning out I think it's gonna turn out well if you want to do something like this it's not that hard you the prep work is what's difficult. This time I did get the uh, 2K uh, clear coat. And these are some of the imperfections that I was talking about. Let me see if I can focus right there. So too much sanding or not enough sanding, but you can kind of see where it kind of feels a little bit. I mean, it kind of looks a little bit like that. Hopefully the uh, base coat will hide them a little bit better. But other than that, this is progress right now. Let me keep going. Just one base coat because rain's coming. I'm gonna put it inside the garage. Well, the base coat is done. And let me tell you something, that black actually looks pretty darn good. I could even call this a project, but I'm not gonna go uh, black with this one because I already have my black polygon, but I gotta say this thing looks sweet. The black base coat 
actually did cover a lot of those imperfections that I was showing you. Might still see something over here, but it's gonna have the bottle mounts anyway, so no big deal. But other than that, this thing is looking pretty damn good. By the way, this is the primer that I used. And yeah, I know it's roost oleum. And this is the uh, flat black paint that I'm using for the base coat. Although, like I said, you can finish that over here and just put in a coat of the 2K automotive clear coat and be done with it. Although, I mean, this is only the first coat of uh, black. If you wanted to stop right here, I will probably do four or five coats and then the uh, automotive uh, 2K clear coat and be call it a project. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go further than this, but I'm liking the way this thing turns out. I'm gonna print a stencil to put over here. Hopefully it looks gonna, it's gonna be looking good. The back of it is of course gonna be black. And uh, once I paint over it, when I peel it off, you'll see the logo black. Uh, gonna wait for it to um, dry a little more, do a few more coats, and then I'm gonna start the uh, actual paint job. Taco! You don't like thunders, do you? No. Say hi. Diesel Freya. Hi, boys. And he gets so jealous because I talk to him. Taco. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. Well, I got a little bit of an update and uh, I like how the paint is looking but I think I messed up. Let me show you. So this is what I'm going for. Might need to redo this whole thing, but this is what I'm going for. Kinda like a desert style kind of thing. Kinda like the uh, Trek Rusco 8. Some of you are gonna say it, but. I don't know what's happening. Well, I kind of might uh, have an idea and it's, I'm actually kind of liking the way it's looking, but I don't know if it's gonna affect later on. Might have been a little bit too humid in this area right now, cause look, it kind of started cracking, which I like that, that look. I really like it, I'm digging it. I think it's gonna, that can actually hide I love a lot of uh, imperfections, but then over here it's kind of kind of started coming out a little bit dusty. I really don't know what's going on. So, like I said, I don't mind that cracking right there. I think it actually looks pretty good. I just wonder if when I apply the clear coat, it's actually gonna stay like that. Because if it does, then I dig it, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let it cure for a little bit longer and then like kinda sand it down a little bit and then uh, do a few more coats if I need to, but like I said, I might need to start from the beginning again. Like I said, look at this cracking. I, I actually really do dig it a lot, a lot, but I don't know we'll see all right guys so I got a little bit of update this the next day is 11 30 I'm shirtless because it's freaking hot and humid and uh, I'm just gonna take a oh, whatever so I just want to give you a little update right now on the bike and uh, show it to you right now this is before clear coat but I think it's actually pretty look it's looking pretty darn good and I'm kind of happy with the results so far like I said all I gotta do I'm just gonna wait for it to flash a little longer and then put in the 2k clear coat but let me show this to you real quick so just a quick sneak preview I did a fade again but this time kind of like a desert kind of thing camo and I did put in a, a stencil logo right here kind of like an scorpion which I'm kind of digging as well and all those black little dots, I'm gonna show you a technique that I use. It was very, very precise. So I ended up just spraying uh, 
black paint into this little to go ramekin and then just go like all over the place uh, some of them are larger than what I was expecting but the result actually I'm kind of liking it so let me show you a little bit more about this by the way these are the colors that I use I use the base coat over here black matte, uh, flat then I spray the whole thing with this uh, and this is called camo khaki I've sprayed the whole thing with this and then on top of that a little bit uh, of this one which is army green just on the lower portion and then on top of this I used I think it was this one yep this is the deep forest green I had also bought this one satin hunt club green but I ended up not using this one I think it turned out really good this is the primer that I use and I got the 2k clear coat inside but enough of that let me show you the bike so I did a little stencil right there this was on the mat on the uh, base coat my logo so far kind of dig it I wanted to do a two-tone but uh, I was overthinking it so I did not do it it's just right there hidden I wanted to do something right here but I didn't know what to do so I ended up not doing anything then again this is the stencil right here and you can kind of see the uh, cracking on the paint which some of you are gonna burn me on this one but I don't care because I was actually trying to think whether to start all over or not the worst part was over here on the bottom it was very dusty so what I ended up doing is just sanded that down take all the dust stuff and then resprayed it refade it and kept the cracking I figured that if I was gonna go to the store get some paint strippers that all over I was gonna end up spending the same amount of money cuz I'm gonna I was gonna need more paint and all that so I said you know what F it I'm gonna leave it as this and if it lasts well if not I use redo it because I was gonna I'm spending the same money anyway if I do it again so again this cracking I think it looks amazing now before I put in today's coat it was actually showing a little bit of black under which I kind of dig a little more but I needed the spray the, the coat because I sanded it down and uh, some of the colors were even after I cleaned it it was showing up on the other side but I think it's pretty looking it's looking pretty darn good can't wait to start building this thing again I have some of the parts that I already use I'm gonna reuse them but I have a, a few parts that I'm gonna be putting here new but let me show you the coolest part right here. What does that say? Let's ride. That's right. <laughs> I didn't know what to put. So I'm like, you know what? I say it all the time. Kind of like a slogan, I guess. So I'm going with it. So I'm going to put a let it flash for a little longer. A few more days, maybe. Before I actually put in the... Uh, to, I mean, it's dry enough because this is a fast drying paint, so I might be able to put in the uh, clear coat today if I needed to. But we'll see. This is the only thing left from the blue axum. See, my amor? And it's gonna wash away. Good memories, though. New memories to come. It's the same bike, different color. Well, I was like, you know what? F it. Let me go ahead and put this on. 2K clear coat. But this is matte because I wanted this to be a matte finish. And I use the whole bottle. It dries super fast. Look at this. Oh my god. This thing turned out way better than I was expected. Whole can of 2K clear coat. And it looks badass. I'm gonna have to give an up, uh, do an update on how this paint turns out because of those imperfections but so far they look amazing and look at this thing let's ride now I gotta put all this thing back together but this thing is looking amazing just wait for it to dry gonna leave it probably a couple of days so you can fully cure 
but damn that's it for this one guys let's ride and subscribe see you on the trails goodbye